Do you remember when we first met? What is up, guys? Welcome back to Mega Man Bell Number Two. We are back with the doc. You brought the heat data. I'll make you cure, but hand that over first. Let's see here. Yep, here it goes. I'm a genius, that tells you. With that, you can break yellow ice. I know this guy in Natopia too, whose brother tried all sorts of things to break the ice. He might know something useful. All right. So, hint, hint. Um, that was something that we already previously did. So now we got to go back to Netopia 2. However, prior to going back to Netopia 2, I do want to go ahead and do something. Um, that way we can make things maybe slightly more interesting. Should I, should I go through this now or should I like... Yeah, because I, I already like donked up and I did... Um, like Nightman and stuff. So I'm, I'm not really paying attention. No, that's that's fine. So we're gonna go over here. And now that we actually have the yellow ice, if you've noticed, or the yellow cure, now we can break the yellow ice. And since we can break the yellow ice, um, there's a number of things that kind of become unlocked to us, if you will. Swing. And I can't really hit that guy. What we can do though, Kind of hit him. They only go once, so that's interesting. Just kill that guy. Then he comes down. Bonk. Pretty, pretty easy. Be pretty, pretty easy. They, these guys are. That actually just. Oh, that does not hold him. I was gonna say. I, I, I wasn't quite sure if that would hold him, but I thought that if he was locked in place before he took off, that might, maybe he was just like stuck in one place. But nope. We're gonna kind of come through here, check for bug frags, no bug frags. However, at the end of this dead end, if we go ahead and step on this, Magnet Man. So there's like a couple of things to do here. Um, obviously, as you're kind of like running around, um, you're gonna see like, there's like e everywhere that you're supposed to be going, you know what I mean? There's like, how do I explain that? What the fuck am I talking about? Like, everywhere that you're supposed to be going in the net, there's been places that have, like, the yellow ice and junk and, like, you know, different different places that, like, have junk. And so, as soon as you get the, the like, the cures and stuff, it's expected that you, like, go and, you know, break that kind of particular ice or whatever. So, one thing that they kind of did here is, like, you get the, the yellow cure... And then you go to like break this ice, but this ice is actually, uh, I'm just going to do this. And you like break the ice, but it's actually like Magnet Man. One thing that you're also supposed to be doing here is like... Wow, this kind of blows, man. Yeah, because, like, one thing that you want to be doing here is when he's, like, about to tackle you and stuff. You want to, like, move out of the way of that panel so that he can't see you. You know what I mean? You want to be able to move out of the way of that panel. Ah, son of a... I was really hoping to use that. Damn it! Well, that was the first try. I was really hoping to, like, get the prism off and show you what that does. Because if you throw that, um, a, not even adjacent, but nearby any of the enemies, well, shoot, I guess let's try this then. Um, this is something specific to the Japanese version of this game. Where if... Uh, or I could just donk it up. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. All right, let's just go ahead and add some stuff before he's at half health. One thing that you, you want to be doing is, like, keep out of his row. So, like, as he kind of comes down, you want to use the magnetic panels to kind of, like, avoid his vision as best as you can. Because when he gets into your vision, um, as we saw at half health, then he'll start, um, like tackling you and doing that doing that thing and that's that's exactly what you don't want to be happening so there's that we have a couple of program advances though in our folder 
So technically, this should not be a problem. But you know how problems go. What we can do here is just use Proto Man while he's blinking. We're going to try to dodge this. And then we're just going to hit him with a tornado. And that does like a massive, massive damage. Then we can just like strike him with this. And he should be dead here. If we just mash this, he should be pretty dead here. As soon as you get an area grab off, if you have wood style, you're pretty good with him. Because he doesn't do very many moves. He really just sends out his uh, magnetic ball. Which if you stay up in a row, then you can just quickly get out of the way and like dodge it by going to the bottom and then moving forward. The only problem is like his magnets, if they're there at the same time, then you have to like dodge those too. So there's that. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and come down here though. The ice is on. Uh, wow, I cannot read. The ice on the net is generating harmful signals. So of course this is uh, another piece of yellow ice, yellow ass. Let's break that ass. And let's go on through. A lot of these battles I don't even care to show because there are a lot of just like basic stupid battles. So like it's not even a big deal. Um, yeah, so this is also somewhere that you end up needing to be because of the yellow ice. Um, not immediately, because chances are you might have jacked out. So, like, there's an issue there. Like, if you jack out, you might not see this place. Um, but this is where you eventually need to be. There's blue ice here, so we can't do anything about that right now. If I just drew a Proto Man chip on one of those fights, dude, I'd be so happy. Try to get a spooky star. Here uh, is this again, and what we can do is basically just reset. That's a little cheat way to do it, but hey, this is what you did back in like the Game Boy Advance days. This is what we do here now. And depending on the frame, kind of reset it, get some different options. And I think here you can get... I don't think you can get really good items. That's something that we don't have. We'll just keep that. I don't think that we have a heat cross. Yeah, but you you just kind of want to get good zenny drops. Or like just good chips. Like chips that you haven't had before. Um, there are several viruses and they're pretty hard in this area. This is under net 4. Um, like this one actually for instance. I'll see if I can't show this. And just where these guys go. Go no. It's very hard to kind of you want to time it because at the same time they also give you very good chips. Uh, I thought he was coming the other way. So like if you get a double delete on these, these are some chips that you do want to get pretty early on in the game because um, they're not very useful like later on in the game. They're honestly pretty bad chips honestly like they, they don't they don't really do a whole lot they're not that good but they're rare is what i'm trying to say so because they're so rare you do want to get them early on just to kind of get them out of the way i'm gonna try to grab this real quick see what we can get already got a double needle let's try it again mind bind mind blinder i don't think that we have that we'll keep that and be on our way. I'll actually show a couple of battles here just again. Because this is a new area. Got some new viruses and stuff. Got a fishy too. So a couple of upgrades here. Got the uh, the Remo bit too. Um, I got a couple more step swords kind of coming back through that area. So I, I just went ahead because now we've got four step sword cues. All of the same code. Went ahead and threw those in our folder. Along with that prism cue. Uh, pretty, pretty useful. Step swords do a lot of damage, and like I said before, they're like my favorite, one of my favorite chips of all time. So definitely like those. I'll try to show you this real quick, actually. So if you throw the prism down, if you use it there, you see how it hit him in the back row. I can actually, if, if you throw it down in the center, it's not just adjusting like um, north, south, west, east, like up, down, left, right. It's actually every square around the prism, all um, all eight panels around the prism <clears throat> can get hit by anything you hit the prism with. So it'll ricochet and hit anything with the same amount of damage. So pretty, pretty useful. Let's 
see if we can take out of their aura here. I'm gonna throw this down. Let's get these guys in a uh, really good position, but I did not. Uh, yeah, it's it's very hard to get these guys in like a like a situation that you actually get a double delete on. You can also hit their head and their body though to deal damage. So that's a plus. Sometimes if you get it just right, like if you hit their head on the way back to their body, as it like enters the square, but it doesn't like attach back yet, you can actually deal double damage because you're hitting both things in the same square. So that's something to keep in mind. That's pretty difficult to do, um, especially if you're a Kaji, but we're just, we're just playing, man. We're just playing, man. Um, I'm trying to really... Let me think about how I can do this here. If I can break his barrier. And not do that, man. Damn it. I was trying to, like, deal just a little bit of damage to him. That way I could, like, try to get him lined up and then use Proto Man, like, up down. Because he slashes, like, a wide sword. Try to deal some extra damage, try to get their chip, but... That didn't happen. Alright, a lot of these virus battles we're starting to see is the same now. So I'm going to stop showing these again, I think, now. Uh, we will get to the next area, though, here soon. So here's another place back to under square, but that's a one-way route. So just a heads up there. If you want to go back real quick, you can. The only, one who, the only ones who can pass through here are those who have the star ID. Only those who know at least 130 types. 130 types, which would mean this. Uh, so 94 out of 250 is what we got. So we need a lot more chips. And we need something called the Star ID. What that is, you may ask. Who am I kidding? None of you are asking that. Who else would be watching this video except people who have played Mega Man Battle Network in the past? Now you know what that is. Who do you think you are? Even gospel people don't mess around in this area. You keep going. Don't think you'll return alive. So now we're starting to get to the deep part of the net. And I want to show you one thing here before we start headed back to Netopia 2. Um, yeah, let's try to show a little bit of these guys too, I guess. So we can actually just straight up kill him there. Let's see if we can uh, kill this guy. Almost. Almost got him. Can we just like, yeah. So that guy drops down, throws some whip towers. The other guy, if you attack him with like a charge or not, not, not like your regular buster, your regular buster won't do anything. If you attack him with like a charge or something, he will dash forward and try to hit you with kunai. And there's this thing right here, which if we get it right, I'm going to show you this is the easiest way to get money in the game under net five. If you get a good drop here, there's like, I think that there's actually like three mystery datas here too that spawn. Like that one, you get 50,000 zenny. So very easy way to get money is in Undernet 5. And there we see Number Man. What the flip is Number Man doing here? Let's go ahead and come up here. Kill these guys. Let's see what we get. Got a new chip, got the burner. All right, so we're getting a couple new chips here too. That's what we want to do. We want to go through all of these new areas, try to get as many chips as we possibly can. Uh, we could definitely just like straight up kill this guy. See how he throws that kunai. And just kill him with a step sword. With a step bro. With a step ladder. Let's see what we got. Here's another one. So we're going to reset just a little bit. We're going to grab this for the Zenny. See, this is also the area where you also have the chance of getting the least amount of Zenny. The 100. Dude, when my parents came over, what did, what did we do? So we, like, built my kid the, um, his swing set. We got him, like, a nice, like, swing set. It wasn't that expensive. Uh, 200 bucks or something. And we, um, got him a swing set. It's got a slide attached to it. And, um... Actually, like, decent swings. Like a whole blow-up, um... A flippin' bouncy house. That's what I was trying to say. Got him a bouncy house. So he's got, like, a whole, like... 
He's got like a whole bouncy house. He's got like a whole like swing set play set thing. Ah, give me up one. He's got like so much like stuff now in the backyard. Well, not like so much stuff. That's literally pretty much all that he's got. But no, like he's needed stuff in the backyard because we, we always like go to the park and stuff. But he's such like an anti-social kid. He's got like a big problem like playing with other kids at the moment. I know that'll get better. But like right now at the park and stuff, anytime that we like bring him to the park, he always just kind of like sits back. He just like sits back though and he just like looks at the other kids as they like walk by and do their stuff. Like he does not interact. He's like, nope, don't want any of that. Uh, so this is actually a pretty good spot for a particular virus too. One of the best in the game. Damn, I got flipping destroyed in that fight, man. One of those stupid meteor viruses hit me like three times. Oh my god. Yeah, but he'll just kind of like sit back, just watch everybody do their stuff. And then he'll, like, if anybody walks into his zone while he's playing and stuff, he'll just stop playing. And he, he just won't, he won't play. He'll just like watch everybody else. There's like a little girl that like came up to him the other day and she like really wanted to like play with him and like, you know, hang out with him. She's like, you wanna, and she was like so cute. She's like, you wanna play? You wanna play? And, and we're trying to like, you know, as like a parent kind of like stay back and just be like, yeah, go play. Like kind of give him some space and see if he can like interact, see if he can like go play with him and stuff. But dude, he would not. He's just like not about that. He has been like going down slides and stuff because he only just turned three. So now he's like starting to go down slides all by himself and stuff, which is like super cool. Because he's like always had like a problem with slides. Clackety clackety clack, you're not attacking me. Hey, are you actually a good navvy? Yes. Uh, I'm so tired. Bluffy takes all my energy. He's trying to, what is he? He's trying to act creepy. Uh, then never mind, clackety. <laughs> what? He's trying to act bro- he's like I'm trying to act like a broken program or something. Right, let's go up here because we do want to come up here and go back to this area. And in this area we can take the teleport and grab this, which is a bug frag and talk- okay. Actually, let me just go ahead and show you this real quick. So this- this is what I was talking about is that it does infinite damage basically um, if you throw the prism down I'll just kind of slow it down here a little bit I'll show you what happened if you throw the prism down and then you throw a tree bomb on it this was an issue or a bug in the Japanese version because the tree bomb is supposed to uh, like take up a space and like it'll just sit it won't move in the Japanese version it, there's a problem where the tree bomb sat in the space instead of disappearing when it hit the prism and so it would just rapid fire like when you throw a tree bomb on an object or an enemy it does just a hundred damage and it dies but when you throw it in the place of the prism it doesn't pop and it doesn't disappear it'll just sit in that space and occupy that space and rapid fire the prism and it'll like do damage on every active frame of the game so it'll do like a hundred damage every frame and the prism lasts for a while so does the tree bomb so it it'll easily do like over 999 nine damage you know it's a very powerful thing I'm not gonna use that like in my normal playthrough with bosses or anything though I don't I don't want to use any of that all right, what have we got here? We have a whole bunch of chips that we will need to fill our things, so we will just buy, I guess, one of each for now. And then that'll start to fill up our library. We're at one of four now, not bad at all. What is this? Unlocker. So there was actually that unlocker that we had over there on the underside of this area, so I might actually go back there and uh, try to grab that real quick. Let's see what we get out of that one, because I don't remember what that is. Oops. 
me turn off my fireplace over here. Got a little electronic uh, fireplace from like my old... I had like an old console in the living room, but I got a new console, so I like replaced it. I replaced it with this one, so I got this one with like a little fireplace. That's the one that you guys see over um, on the left of me, like over here. Um, this over here. Oh, my camera's not working, okay. Uh, that's, that's the one that you see, like, up, oh, here we go. Alright, let's do this. If we fire him, any, any attack that we hit him with will just do one damage. So anything we do will only do one damage. What you want to be able to do, it might even be beneficial to kind of step up into the front row here. Actually, let's see if we can get a time-stopping chip real quick. Our Mega Buster's probably going to be the fastest thing besides something that time stops. So if we get him one more time here. We don't have Guts Man, so we just got Gate Man. Let's see if we can get Gates, uh, Gate Man here. There we go. So basically, he gets faster and faster. And towards this last one, if you're not quick enough, he'll just go back under uh, his hole. And he'll just disappear for good. But if you get him, you get the pop-up chip. Now the pop-up chip is like an invisible chip. Um, it's like an invis, but it lasts like so long. I think it legitimately lasts like 25 seconds. I feel like it's like two turns and a half or something. Like it, it lasts for a very long time. But that is about all that we can do here in Undernet 6 without having that cube. Yeah, so that's, that's all that we can do here. So we're going to go back over here. We're going to go back to Undernet, what is it, 4? I think, is it 4? Nah, it's definitely like Undernet 5 over here. And all that we're going to do is run back to the beginning of this area real quick. We're going to get that unlocker. And then we're going to go ahead and head back to uh, Netopia 2 to go find that uh, Doc's friend. So, right down here. I'm pretty sure I remember what this is. No, nah, I don't remember what this is. Just the attack plus 20, okay. Which is a good chip, um, but there's also that net dealer that sells a bunch of those too, so not the best chip. Because we'll have the ability to get more. Alright, so I'm going to see you guys back in Netopia 2, where, uh, where we need to go find the Doc's friend. So I'll see you guys back there in just a minute. Well, that was a bit more obnoxious than it needed to be. All right, and here's this guy. Let's go ahead and talk to the doc's friend. Thanks, kid, you saved my life. I thought I was a goner when I was trapped in the ice. Anyway, you can break the ice, right? I have a request. I lost my little brother. Can you find him? I'll pay. Sure. Why not? So you look for him? Thank you. He might have gone to the under... Oh, oh. Of course he did. Of course he did. I hope my brother's okay. He's the best key maker in Natopia. I won't stop worrying about him. I'm counting on you. Key maker. A key maker. All right, so let's jack out. What's up, Jim? Sun's rays are that strong? That means the environment system's probably down. That system controls Natopia's climate. I got the load down on everything. If the sun's that strong, the UV rays must be dangerous. If this isn't handled properly, it could mean disaster. Darn right about that. See, like, everybody's dying, dude. Everybody's always dying, and it's just up to this, like, 11-year-old boy. It's always up to me. All right, I'll see you guys back at the internet. All right, and right down here, I'm pretty sure that you can activate it just immediately by walking through here. And if you come right over here... No. No, you cannot. Let's go find the Keymaker Navi. Okay, so I guess you probably do have to go to the square first. I thought that you could just go straight over to him. No, we gotta do some more fetching, don't we? God damn it! Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna keep you on here real quick. We're just gonna finish this up. I'm not gonna grab these mystery datas over here because they don't give you all that much. At least not in comparison to Undernet 5. Like going to Internet 5 right now to get more Zenny? Probably not. Because I ain't got time for that. Alright. 
Let's go over here. We're gonna go talk to some people in the square, see if anybody's seen the Keymaker in the Undernet. Since nobody was very specific. Yeah, I've seen you somewhere before. It was during the World 3 incident. Now I remember. W welcome to the Undersquare. Ah, the World 3 incident. A little hinty hinty there. Should I through like a sell for quick cash? Has anybody seen my guy? We haven't had any damage at all from that ice. Catch my meaning? No one complains if the internet, in the internet, even if they are hurt. Unless the person doing it all didn't want to affect the internet. My operator, he's a notorious bad dude. It'll take more than a stupid natural disaster to make him jack out. He ain't a wimp. Ha <laughs> ha. <coughs> you dying in here? The internet has areas even we can't enter. Well, if we went there, we might never come back again. Try hard enough, doors will open for you. Okay, well, flipping. I'm lost again. Let's grab a couple of these just to fill our... Um, chip inventory or library. And... you sell unlockers here? No. Why would you? Untrap is actually so good, though, for those ones in... Um, Frickin' Undernet 5. Let's actually just buy a couple of those so we can go get more Zenny. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'll do it. Oh, sick. Please. I don't know if I've added enough. Yes! Ugh. But what style? Beep, 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 beep. Looks like a new style has evolved. But what? Heat Custom style. Heat Custom? It's a fire navy style, ideal for navy chip combos. This style starts with seven chip options in the custom menu. Also, charged shots will turn into flamethrowers. Careful though, you take twice as much damage from Aqua. Nice job. Can't believe it. So this one's actually pretty good. I really like the look of the Aqua. However, this one, the charge shot, uh, the charge shot as you start to uh, upgrade it, make sure that we got it equipped. There we go. As you start to upgrade it, the charge shot actually does a good amount of damage. Um, sometimes, especially when you use it in combination with like grass panels and stuff, actually does quite a lot of damage, enough to like take out barriers and different things. So this one's pretty good. Aqua style does not do enough damage, but it's very fast charging. So now in battle, we actually have more chip slots, more chip sleuths, which is just incredibly useful. We love it. We love to see it. And that is beyond freaking worth more than anything in this game. All right, so I was wrong. This is not that part of the game yet. We still got so much more fetch questing to do. We got to talk to this person. Man, who went and left this thing on the net? Can't go below with this thing in the way. How am I going to get out? How, how am I going to get it out of here? I swear. Hey, who are you? Huh? Bro's been looking for me. Hey, he worries too much. Hey, do me a favor. Go back to where he is and tell him I'm all right. And I'll be back soon. I'm still looking for a way to break this ice. Huh? You're looking for a way to break the ice too? Well, I'm the key maker. And even I can't figure it out. I know we need three blue frags in order to destroy it, but I don't know where they are, and that's where it stands at the moment. Just tell him I'm alright, and I'll be back soon, okay? Yeah, sure. Let's flip him. Go right back to him and, and tell him that you're alright. Because I had a gun everywhere already! Alright, let's go. I'll see you then. I'll actually just show you the flamethrower here. The flamethrower super sick. Goes three squares ahead. It's a little bit slow on the, like, um, how fast it fires, but it's 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 really cool. I love the flamethrower, dude. Now that we're back to this idiot, what do you gotta say? How's my brother? Is he safe? Woo! I'm relieved. Thanks for finding him. You know this is a gift for you. You've got one of the blue frags, homie. All right, and with that being said, where are the other blue frags you might ask? Well, I have an answer for you. I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. Let's talk to him again. Undernet 3 seems fishy to me, especially because I heard it connects to Undercoat Obuki. Ah. Well, f let's go back to Undernet 3. I'll see you there. All right, and now hopefully we don't get into one last virus battle before we enter this area. And right over here now, finally. Lan, how did that navy on the floor below get down there? 
huh? Hey you, you're uh, you're mega something on Gospel's blacklist. Came to steal my blue frag, didn't you? Blue frag? Isn't that the base for blue cure? Come and get blue frag if you want it. Even if you find your way here, it's pointless. Our civilization destruction plan will be complete. I want to see you sucking your thumb. Whoa, that's kind of that's kind of kinky, dude. I don't know if I like you saying stuff like that. As the world crumbles, <laughs> uh, land that navy's perverted. A holding blue frag. Check to see if there's a route to get near him. You got mail. Check to see if there's a route to get near him. So of course now, and if we go back and try to talk to this guy, it's uh, not the same person. The keymaker. The guy who was here earlier? Oh yeah, he said he was going back to uh, Net Square, I think? Net Square. Well then, let's read our email real quick. Chot here, midterm investigation report. There appears to be a gospel navi in Undernet 3. However, due to mysterious ice, I couldn't reach him. In searching for another route to the Undernet, I discovered an entrance from Kodo Square. However, a special key is required to access that route. That's all I have to report at this stage. I will continue the investigation. A key, you say? Well then, let us go back to Net Square. All right, now I would just like it to be known that by this point in time, we have been fetch questing so much. I think I leveled up. I We, we just got done leveling up to level two on our other uh, shield style. We leveled up to level three, and we got a uh, style change. You know how many battles that that is that I've been fighting to level up almost two times and style change? Come on, man. All right, let's go. Let's go talk to the keymaker. Hey, great to see you again. You're looking for a key for where? The gate at Den area, the gate that leads to Kotobuki, huh? Yeah, I can make one. Hold on a sec. Here it is. I owe you one, so take it. Noise. All right, and so per the previous boards that uh, we were reading, oh, he had a power up too. I should have bought the power up. I wasn't even looking at that. Whatever. We're at like 720 HP already, so we're we're doing pretty good on HP by this point in the game. Now we've got to go fly all the way back, back home, past the flipping airplane, walk all the way back. Let's actually see how many chips we got. Not as many as I thought. We got six of stuff. Uh, dude, all of that traveling, I thought for sure we've had like so many chips in our inventory by this point. But that's fine. All right, I'll see you back home. So let's go straight in. Got an email. Let's jack in. And we're going to go break some of that ice that was blocking a lot of the, um, the area here. So we can actually use one of these teleports. So as you'll notice, this is blue ice, so we can't touch that yet. However, if you recall, if you'll recall, there was some yellow ice over here towards the beginning of this whole scenario. So let's go ahead and break it. All right, and with that broken, we'll just have to see which one of these actually activates. Pretty sure it's that one, yeah. And here we go. So this is actually that one-way path in Kodo Square. However, behind the one-way path is another portal. And where does this portal go, you ask? Somewhere that we need to be going. <laughs> this is actually under, uh, under Kodo Square, which over here, if you'll notice, um, this up here, this guy is actually a net dealer. It's a shame we don't have any money left. Dude, we've been seeing so many net dealers towards this end of the game. It's crazy. But just so that you know where he is, because we will have to be uh, coming back to him later. Dude, these chip combinations are so easy to get some double deletes, though. I gotta admit, not too bad. Getting some of the chips that we need. All right, let's grab this real quick. Let's see if we can get either a good chip or... Yeah, that's fine by me. Because I don't think that we have the Quake 2 W yet. And we will be needing it. We actually do have it. You know what? I don't care. Honestly, don't care. Let's keep going. Let's grab this mystery data as well. I will save actually prior to this one. So we'll see what it is. Nope, I'm not accepting a virus.
Nope. What do we got? Nope. 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 Nom 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 nom. Okay, you son of a bitch. Can you actually just give me a chip or... I'll honestly just take any chip or any zenny at this point. Thank you, man. All right. Sheesh. All right, let's get out of here. Let's keep going down this path. And right over here. And right over here, as you'll see, we'll be able to not use this because we don't have an unlocker. But you know what? Suck a dick. We're going to come over here instead. And we're going to get this blue one. Dude, there's so many unlock... Because we basically unlock most of the net now. So we can pretty much do anything that we want, go anywhere that we want. Now that means that we've unlocked like a lot of unlockers and everything. So like there's so much more to do. As you can see here, what the F is this? Blue ice. Why would it make us run through here when we can't break that? Guess why? Did you guess? Did you guess why? Do you, do you know why? Yeah, I, I think so too. I think so too, buddy. This is actually the right way to go, but it's not the way that I want it to go. So I'm going to go back over here down these other ra uh, routes. I'm going to grab the mystery datas down them, and I'll show you what they are. Son of a bitch. All right, we're back over here. It's a dead end. You want to bet? You want to bet it's a dead end? Ah, oh, dude. That's just a cube. What do you think that that cube says? At least I have good enough chips that like fighting most battles pretty easy at this point. Some sort of security code. You don't have the passcode, so you can't open it. It doesn't even say what the passcode is. Homie. Come on. Alright, let's talk to this guy. And this is actually a interesting battle here as well. So, I don't get it. How did you get here? Eh, whatever. You'll die here. And that's all that matters. No and voids. Uh, so these guys are actually a bit different than their counterparts. These guys are actually a bit more powerful. Um, as you'll see, they're a bit faster. They recover quite a lot of HP. Pretty darn fast. Let's see if we could just get an electric hit off on him. Because we did get that one. Let's see if he comes up. Bam. And they're water-based attacks, so having heat style would do a lot of damage to us as well. I made an oversight. The rumors said you were tough, but... But I was only a mere time stall anyway. Right now, Gospel Supreme Commander Freeze Man is steadily moving towards the destruction of the world. Hey, where's Gospel's HQ? <laughs> Wouldn't you like them, though? The HQ is in Kodo Square. D did this man just say, like, Wouldn't you like to know? Like he what? And then he told us anyway? Um, I mean, thanks. What Kodo Square? Of all places? Even if you reach it, you're no match for Freeze Man. Freeze Man! Ah! The Gospel Navi drops, drops something. Blue Frag B. Now we have two. Magman, head for Gospel HQ. Hold on, Land. There's something else here. What is it? Let's grab it. It got the Gospel ID. This is like a Gospel member's card. Come on, Land. Off the Gospel HQ. Sure. Got mail. All right. So now what we can actually do is just go right back to the way that we came and go back to Kodo Square and start from there. The nice thing about this, the nice thing about this is that Kodo Square is actually not too far away. Finally, with all this backtracking, we're actually somewhere pretty close. So this is actually Gospel's HQ. So who could it possibly be? Wait a second, where did everybody go? Seems like nobody's home. Also, if you couldn't tell, um, this whole area, here's the two eyes, here's the nose, here's the mouth. Dude, this is just, it's just a skull. Kodo Square is just a skull. It's like, if you didn't need a bigger hint besides that, well, there you go. So, nobody's home. Let's go ahead and go come through here. And let's see if we can get that last blue frag somewhere. And now you can see the background. Now this is the end game, man. Now we're, now we're finding gospel. 
All right, we just got to break through all of this ice. Little by little, man. Next. Okay, I'm not even going to lie. This, this is a bit of a disgusting fight, honestly. Is there actually a good way to like... Can I just do this? He's gonna... Oh, god damn, they teleport. I forgot all about that. Yikes. Can I block his path using this? I don't think so. Nope. And they like take out the panels too? Dude, that is mean. Alright, well, we got... Does he hit the one behind? No, I don't know. I was hoping to get him with that. That's fine, we'll just use a program advance on him. Just whoop his ass. Whoop his ass! That one's a bit of a dangerous fight with the uh, the flamies and stuff, because there's three of them and they crack all your panels and stuff. That one's pretty dangerous. Oh, wait a second. This isn't blue frag. I'll give you a hand for coming this far, Mega Man X. Who the heck are you? Gospel Supreme Commander, Freeze Man. I orchestrated the civilization destruction plan. Soon, a quake registering as high as 10 will strike. Shall we find a nice place to watch the destruction unwind? I won't allow it. I hand it with blue frag. <laughs> yeah, no way. Sure, that ice on the net is part of me. But the third blue frag is me. What? So that means, right. You have to defeat me or you can't save the world. If you really want to stop the end of the world, then give me your best shot, Mega Man. Land handle the routine. Got it. I'll protect this country and the world. All right, Mega Man, battle routine, set, execute. So here's Freeze Man. Uh, this dude's a bit of a pushover, actually. Uh, once you actually get past this, his like little barrier thing, he kind of just stands there. He'll like throw some like of these down a little bit at a time, which actually is gonna do a shoot ton of damage to me because I'm freaking fire style that's that's no good but if we do this right we might actually just straight up kill him here um hopefully we don't hit a shield though easy there we go so that's freeze man he actually starts uh, dropping ice on you too a little bit later but we didn't even get to that huh who would have dreamed i'd lose and to you but it's too late only moments tell the earthquake may yeah, have beat me, but there's no time to make the third cure. <laughs> I'll see the end of the world in a moment. Gospel for all eternity! Something's glowing from Freeze Man's body. We got the blue frag. We did it, land. We got the blue frag. Ah, uh, Magma, what's wrong? Suddenly, the, the blue frag, it broke. No way. You gotta be kidding me. What are we gonna do? The world would be destroyed, right? No need to worry. Excuse me? The Doc, what are you doing here? I came to see how this all turned out. Looks like it's a happy ending. Take a gander. The ice is breaking up by itself. The Navi you beat seem to be their power source. This, po uh, this powerless ice is starting to break apart. Same thing probably goes for other places. Phew, I'm tired. Long time since I worked. Well then, to the Undersquare. Oh, I'll have to build the officials for the cure and such. How much can I take them for? <laughs> yeah, you boys should be going too. Surely everyone's waiting. Yes, thank you. Let's get back home, Lan. Back beside everyone. Yeah. So I'm very curious, the Doc, because it doesn't exactly explain who he is. Could that possibly be for Mega Man Battle Network 3? Dr. Cossack's Navi? At least that's that's what I would like to think. 
That's that's what I would like to think is is Dr. Cossack's Nami. Looks like him, so we'll just roll with that. So this is just talking about our custom style. As we upgrade, it gets better. According to new report from the Den Earthquake Center, a quake of unprecedented size is likely to occur shortly. This was prior to Freeze Man, by the way, of course. Please proceed to an evacuation center immediately. The environment system has thawed and returned to normal. Now the disaster should be suppressed. Lan, Mega Man, you did well. All right. Well, now that that's all done, shall we go to bed? Let's go talk to our mom first. Let's see what mommy's got to say. Mommy, mommy. Mom, everything's okay. Mom? What's wrong? Is she mad? Your father called and I heard all about it. Well, I, I, we... I'm sorry for worrying you, Mom. You two sure know how to make us fret. Lan? Mega Man? Uh-huh. Yeah? Welcome home. I'm proud of you. Mom. Jeans don't lie, just like your dad and your grandpa. You have a strong sense of justice and you act before you think. That's your lineage. What's wrong? Have I got food in my teeth? You look just like when your father you look just like your father when he was young. You must be tired. How about taking a rest? Okay. Let's go take a rest then. You earned your rest. Good night. Good night. And if I don't see you tomorrow. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> good night, Lan.